Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl fan and back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Swani Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. A big shout out to everyone that keeps on subscribing, has subscribed. Keeps on giving us stuff to do, likes our stuff, shares. Thank you very much. You guys are the best. I hope you guys are doing all right. I may you stay blessed. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. They suggested into why Muslim women cannot marry non-Muslims without wasting time. Let's get into the video. In reference to marriage in Islam, is it true that Al-Quran states it is permissible for a Muslim man to marry a non-Muslim woman, but not for a Muslim woman to marry a non-Muslim man? Yes, it is true. If it is true, why is it so? By the way, brothers and sisters, many, many Muslims and non-Muslims look at a Muslim man marrying a non-Muslim woman as a privilege. They look at it like it's, it's a big honor. So why can't the Muslim women have the same right? Had it been something other than a big honor or a privilege, they wouldn't even talk about it. You see, people like to get equal treatment of things that are really favorable. So they look at it like, oh, he married a developed girl. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, it is not. See, even again, we read in, in, in uh, Surah Al-Baqarah, in Surah Al-Baqarah, that even a slave believer is better than a free non-Muslim woman. It says that. You know why? Because the secret of a happy family is harmony. If you don't have harmony in the family, you will not have happiness. Very few families survived when there were religious differences. But if your question is, why not Muslim women? Because the majority of societies, it is the man that determines the religious identity of the children. And because Islam came as the final message from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you don't go backward, but you bring people forward with you. You bring people uh, forward with you. So that's why it is not a privilege, but it is an allowance and it really needs more time. Yes, brother. Very interesting. I had no idea that the father actually determines the religion of the children. I guess um, this differs from house to house. Otherwise, this was interesting. That it was actually a very, very good question. A quick question because if a man can do it, a woman should also have the same rights. But then, is this right by law or just by you know that those universal laws that? They don't have to be law, but you just have to follow them. Someone just clear that up for me. Otherwise, very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.